。好，咁啊承接住頭先嗰條啦，我哋已經知道咗咧。紅色花就係顯性嘅特性，白色花就係隱性嘅特性。咁而家下面就問翻啦，邊一個嘅配對係最能夠顯示到雜交四嘅結果呢？咁雜交四啦，就係紅性嘅紅色花同埋黐性嘅白色花，出到嚟嘅後代咧，有紅有白。但係咩叫有紅有白呢？佢哋當中嘅比例係如何呢？咁呢個題目就下翻我哋有關於 Mendelian Ratio 啦，曼德爾比例啦。咁我哋當初學呢個基礎遺傳學呢，我哋有學到嗰啲咩三比一啊、一比一啊、一比二比一啊、九比三比三比一啊，諸如此類嘅好多好多嘅係咪？咁啊考翻我哋能唔能夠用翻不同嘅數據去作出一個比例嘅分析啦？咁跟住頭先嗰條我已經知道咗呢啲等位基因係喺體驗式睇啊嘛，係咪？咁即係用返呢個情況就已經可以啦。男性紅色花大細 R， 女性白色花世界世界 R 出到嚟啦，有紅有白，佢哋個比例正正就係一比一。咁所以啦，我哋揀翻 A、B、C、D 邊個一比一啦，就係 boy 啦。So after we know that the red flower allele is the dominant allele, white flower allele is the recessive allele. So now we are going to do the matching again. Which combination is most likely the result from cross four? Cross four, male plant, red flower, female plant, white flower, and for the offspring, some red and some white. But what does it mean, some? What is the ratio behind that? Therefore, this question checking us our concept about the Mendelian ratios. So when we are learning the topics of the basic genetics, we talk about the ratio one to one, I'm saying one to two to one, three to one, nine to three to three to one, something like this. So now when we are using the monohybrid inheritance, so what will be the ratio? So for the skills checking is about the data interpretation and the ratio analysis. After we know that. For the allele, they are on the autosome, so we can use this genetic diagram directly. Male red, big R, small R. Female white, small small R, homozygous recessive. And then we have the red offspring and the white offspring, and the ratio is one to one. So let's see A B C D for the red flower, white flower. Which one is one to one? And the answer is B.